After completion of the diaphragm walls to a depth of roughly 45 meters around the damaged tunnel boring machine, work began at the start of 2024 on excavating the construction pit over a length of 200 meters and a width of 17 meters. After the first few meters of soil had been excavated, the diaphragm wall for the construction pit was braced by means of steel pipes. For this, a total of 30 pipes were used, with a diameter of 1.42 meters at intervals of 6.70 meters. The gantry crane can lift equipment into the pit between the bracing pipes and lift out smaller fragments and containers. A stiffening frame of reinforced concrete with inner dimensions of 13 by 14.80 meters was installed at the center of the construction pit. This allows larger construction equipment to be let down into the pit and larger fragments to be lifted out. The first step consisted in removing the soil to a depth that half exposed the linings of the tunnel tubes with the encased tunnel boring machine. Dismantling work began on the cutter head and shield of the tunnel boring machine. 1,400 tons of steel completely exposed and laboriously cut up by hand using flame cutters. Besides the earth excavated, approximately 10,000 meters of freeze pipe surrounding the exposed tunnel tube had to be dismantled. The exposed lining segments for the tunnel tubes were cut into transportable pieces, lifted out by the gantry crane and carried away by truck. In this way, the upper half of the tunnel tube was opened, exposing the tunnel boring machine encased in concrete and annular fill. The upper section of the tunnel boring machine was demolished with the aid of excavators and chisels. The rubble from the demolition of the linings of reinforced concrete and backfilled concrete amounted to approximately 9,000 cubic meters. The trailer's metal alone weighed around 600 tons. This material was then also excavated, removed by truck, and further broken down for recycling. After removing the upper half of the tunnel boring machine, the soil beside the lower section of the remaining pipes was excavated to the final depth of the construction pit of 16 meters. Overall, the soil excavated amounted to around 36,000 cubic meters. To dismantle the lower section, the encased tunnel boring machine was cut up vertically and horizontally into approximately 10 by 2 meter blocks by means of wire saws. For the vertical cuts, the wire is guided by means of core boreholes through which the wires can be threaded. The blocks, each weighing up to 70 tons, were loaded onto a special multi-axle transporter with the aid of the gantry crane, and then taken through the trough to the southern rescue area to be further cut up. This low emission procedure enabled part of the tunnel boring machine to be transported out of the construction pit in blocks and thus faster. At the same time, civil engineering had already begun making the first tunnel floors by the end of 2024. With the complete demolition of the damaged tunnel boring machine Wilhelmina in December 2024, we achieved a further major milestone in the Rashtat Tunnel. By the summer of 2025, the structure of the East Tube will be completed, and by the end of the year, 
the construction pit will also be backfilled.